Hi, my name is Andres, and welcome to this census session, where I will present you my work on on-demand communication using the Batterless Mino card. So this is the Mino card. It's only two millimeters thick, and it's smaller than a credit card, and it's powered by light. So whenever these devices are facing down, or in, they're inside your pocket, they are impossible to energize remotely. This is much safer than technologies such as RFID, which can be remotely powered by an attacker. So when I, as a user, decide to use these cards, I take them out of my pocket and I expose them to light. As soon as they're exposed to light, they turn on after a few seconds and they can start emitting beacons. They can transmit sensor data, such as environmental measurements, or they can also just broadcast my presence as a user inside a smart building. Let me show you what that looks like. Here we have an Android app which has already recognized Kevin's meter card. Another meter card with a temperature sensor has been assigned to this meeting room, and we can see that the room temperature is approximately 22 degrees Celsius. One of the key features of the meter card is that it has a very fast cold start. As soon as you expose a meter card to light, it would only take a few seconds for the meter card to turn on and start emitting beacons. Let's see that using the Rocket Logger. This is the Rocket Logger website where I get to configure the voltage and current channels that I will be recording. This is my voltage plot, and down here I will have my current plot. For now, I'm only going to visualize voltage V1, which is the voltage of the solar cell. To give you an idea of what that looks like, here is a video feed of the experiment. This is the rocket logger, here is the meter card with some debug connectors, and I also have a lux meter where I can measure the luminosity of the room, and you can see that with this lighting we have approximately 1000 lux. Right now the solar panel is disconnected. I have manually shortened all the capacitors to make sure that they are completely discharged. As soon as I connect the solar cell, you will see the voltage change on the plot. As soon as I connect it, you see that it goes to approximately 380 millivolts because the voltage source is clamped. But after only a few seconds, you see that the boost converter turns on and starts regulating the solar cell voltage. The peaks that you see are the open circuit voltage samples so that the device can do maximum power point tracking. If we want to measure the total input power, I can go down here to visualize the current measurements. This measurement has a negative polarity, and you can see that we're measuring about 120 microamps. If we multiply by 3.2 volts of the solar cell, we get a little bit over 350 microwatts of input power. You can see that if I cover the solar cell a little bit, the current goes towards zero. So this is the input power. Let me now show you other signals where you can see the behavior of the meter card. I have enabled signal V3, which is the capacitor voltage. This voltage swings indicate that the meter card is actually active. Whenever the voltage goes down, it's because the meter card woke up and emitted a beacon. You can also see that if I cover the solar cell a little bit, it takes longer for the meter card to charge up and emit a beacon. This is intuitive because the meter card is receiving less input power. As soon as I uncover the solar cell, the number of activations increases again. This linear behavior, or energy proportionality, is one of the key features of the energy management unit, which comes from previously published work. This is what enables the meter card to work in many different environmental conditions. So this was the demonstration of the meter card. Thank you for paying attention. If you want to find out more information, please visit us on the web, metocard.swiss. This project will be open sourced later this year. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the conference. Bye.